Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. We're looking at a game today called Hammer Ting. This has been in early access since uh, October. It's by a developer called Warp Zone Studios. Uh, the, the thing they're going to be coming out of early access soon, so it's preparing for the launch. So get prepared for 1.0. Now, this is one of the newest updates for it. This is the Epic Crafting or update, and in this, we can now apparently craft rings, armor, lanterns, and valuable epic level items. Uh, there's also an overhaul on the mountain law within the game, so we're gonna go and check it out here. So, as it says here, these are all a list of uh things, but. I've not actually played any of this before, which I'm quite surprised considering I like games like RimWorld, Dwarf Fortress, any game that involves sort of sims and colony management, I just love. So we're going to check this out today. Now this is a blind playthrough. I've not played any of this before because I do find it's a bit, I enjoy it a lot more if I do play a game with a fresh, you know, fresh eyes for that, for that first time experience because... Otherwise, I'm just, uh, you know, it's it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit fake. I'm pretending that, oh, wow, look at that. You die if you don't eat food. So here we go. So we're doing a new game. Um, what should we do with this now? Somewhere in the mountain range on the cold and forbidding peak of Mount Krasthanum, a colony of dwarves prepares to establish itself in a place otherwise long abandoned. Okay, so we're going to be going over in, into this, I guess, exploring it. Okay, and we're going to see what we do. Right, welcome to the mountain. You control a colony of dwarves. Yes, aiming to establish themselves in the mountain and to support their faction in the great war on the overworld. To do this, you must dig, mine, build and craft. Build a quarry and explore until you amass sufficient mountain lore to acquire the knowledge of metallurgy and construct a small foundry. Continue on and I get more knowledge and expand further. Okay. I'm willing to do that. Right. This is my top bar where you can see the status of your mountain home. Okay. And what's this bit here? Use these buttons to reach the overworld map. Research new tech and manage your mountain home. Okay. So that's knowledge, logs, mountain home ledger, jobs, recruit dwarves, trade... Okay, that's the overworld there on that button. I don't know where research is, though. Research new technologies. Maybe you can research technologies on the overworld map. Anyway, next. In this area, you can see how much coin, law, and dwarves you have. So I start off with three dwarves, apparently. Oh, no, that's the mountain law. Three. I've got three mountain law. So mountain law is knowledge of the mountains. We learn it from all the other knowledge flows. Increase the law by exploring a mountain... Unveiling darkness is a great starting point, but as we delve deeper, it will be harder to learn its secrets. We should strive to make true discoveries like landmarks, forgotten rooms, and lairs. Ooh, so is this going to be like a pre-populated, um, like, abandoned mine or something? Cave mission will also teach us a lot about South Linth. Okay, so it looks like I've either got five dwarves or a maximum limit of five. And top right is time-related shenanigans. Okay. Speed control, pause, resume, or speed up. And that's the current date. Excellent. Here I can find buttons for the Book of Tings. I can't say Tings without <laughs> doing an accent. So sorry. Down there you'll find the action menu. From here you can make orders for your dwarves. If you want a specific dwarf to carry out an order, left click on the dwarf before issuing an order. Fair enough. Use the infrastructure and room section to expand your base. So that's what's going to be interesting for this because games like RimWorld, you have to build a room and it's it can be pretty much custom size and that can be quite hard to do. So it's going to be interesting to see how the room management is in this. We will see. And finally, we get to the outliner, which lists your dwarves, rooms, missions, and alerts. Okay, that's this. Okay, so this is glowing. Oh, ooh. Right. Go forth. Right, here we go then. Here we go. So we're coming into the, uh, the mine or whatever it is. Okay, so I can move this and look. Ooh, look at the, sh look at the shadows. Ooh, I like this. 
This looks pretty. Okay, what's that? The Great Overworld Map. It's our... Wait a minute. Okay, we've got a tutorial. UE top bar. Hide tutorial pop-up. Right, these are the alerts. I must say, it's pr there's a lot of information packed into the one screen. Might be the resolution I'm playing in, though. Okay, so my resolution appears to be fine, so I guess we're just going to have to squint. Right, don't let Cavins discovers, discovered. Uh, so we'll click that. Oh, here's the logbook. Right. Fardian the first. Vestibule the first. Uh, okay. Uh, discovered some caverns. A new biome region. A new beginning. We've arrived at our new mountain home. Uh, started ready to transform this hole in the rock to a, a keep worthy of any dwarf. May their beards be long and their pickaxes forever sharp. <laughs> okay. Right. So what do, we, what do we actually do then? We'll come out of that. So we've, we've arrived. Um, it doesn't really tell me what I need to do. I have got a thing here though. Tutorial UE top bar. What does this do? The main interface contains the top bar with some of the primary information, which I assume is this, uh, can be found, such as speed, mountain... Yeah. The mountain home treasury displays the amount of coins, which is that thing up there. What's this, though? The war progress meter displays our progress in the great overworld map. The more locations we aid, the League of Mephis and Conquering, the better we will fare. We win the game if all locations are currently held by the League. Additionally, the top bar also holds various buttons used for accessing sub-venues. So I'm not too sure where the war thing is just yet. Must Maybe we need to get that a bit later on. I can't see where that is. Might be in a little sub-menu. Okay. So I've got a task. I've got, a, I've got a different tasks to do. So what's this one? An ancient omen. Discover a god of the forge. The god of the forge is located at a terrible depth in the mountain. Okay, that's going to be a wild. Oh, wait a minute. Near the entrance to the sunlit world. That sounds like I have to dig straight down, doesn't it? Got to construct a quarry and craft some chunks. Right, let's try and do that then. And also acquire some mountain lore. So, let me click on a dwarf. So I can click on them. Oh, wow, look how detailed these are. So we've got like health, a little bit of um. I don't know why you're losing health. I think it's because you've got a hydrochondriac skill. You got all sorts of trades. So it looks like you're a skilled miner, skilled militia, skilled builder, blacksmith, me metallurgist, uh, stonemason. Right? Can I click build then? I need to build. I need to build something. So we need to build a small quarry. Now, I don't know where you're best putting this, so I'm just going to plonk it over here. I'm assuming where it's it's not red means I can build it. Okay, let's unpause it. Oh, we can zoom right in, look. Whoa, look at the haircut on that one. Is that a haircut? <laughs> it looks, certainly looks like a haircut. So the scaffolding's going up. Um... We also need to discover that God of the Forge. I don't have a clue where that is. So there's a, a mushroom over here. Hold control for detailed information. Don't think we need to do that. I think we just need to build this. Okay, so scaffolding's gone up. Now it's coming back down. And this is going to be a little quarry. Now, how do I get someone to mine in that land? Do I click in it? Craft. Okay, so we've got a job here to make 10 chunks so we'll click on that we'll craft click that on that and then i will say make 10 and then we'll unpause it and it looks like your auto going in to do it there he goes that's pretty cool okay so we also need to do this law so how do we how do we gain this Okay, I've got another tutorial. Dwarves, a hardy folk, sprung from the mountains itself in an age bygone. The dwarves are defined by their clans and professions and united in a common mission to delve ever deeper. Dwarves are five primary attributes. The dwarf attributes, namely defense, wisdom, 
awareness, robustness, and fever. Oh yeah, that spells out that, I've only just realised. Increasing any of the attributes by levelling up will allow the dwarves to excel at their various professions. Uh, the health and wealth of dwarf is determined by its four status bars, health, energy, morale, and greed. Um, providing for each of these needs of the dwarves is essential to maintaining a healthy mountain home. Should greed run out, morale will drain faster. Should morale run out, energy will drain faster. Should energy run out, health will be drained. And if you run out of health, you're going to die, aren't you? Oh no, you become unconscious and require resuscitation by another dwarf. Oh, I think that's going to be like a bit of a dwarf kiss to wake you up. Okay, so we've done that bit. We are constructing our chunks. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here? What is that thing? Why did we just get some random thing just coming <laughs> and start attacking me? Okay, so this, this goes all the way over there. How the heck did that happen then? Just some random creature came from over there. I want to know if we can explore over here then, because... Can I click on this? To the overworld. Welcome to the overworld. This is a world inhabited by other people than just dwarves. From the kingdom of humans to orcish war tribes. Trade war wars or fulfill missions in order... Okay. So, this is doing the tutorial again. Starting off at the top interface, the top bar remains the same as the mountain, except with the new mountain home icon, which is that one. Uh, take a note, a note, the game won't pause automatically when you open the overworld. The outline now looks different, now showing content related to the overworld. So there's a vendor called Barfield here. Oh, this is your mountain home. Tire Moinblen. Watching the word the world from its high perch. From here you command your dwarves and change the world to, with your influence. Here lies the mine known as Barfield. Leave a good impression by trading with them to earn trade law and explore new locations. Cool. So this is the location window of Barfield. From here you can buy and sell words or pick up missions. Okay. So it's like a little town. The area details a specific location. Here you can see the location's health fortification. And my trade level. Okay, so I've not traded with them and they are fortified. Each location is part of a larger, larger faction. Barfield is part of Vendar, which is a kingdom. Uh, manpower and might are shared with locations. When they've mastered, mastered enough resources, they'll send out armies. Cool. And there's a notice board as well, which will list current events that are transpiring. Uh, this area lists what you can buy from the location or what you can sell okay so i guess we can sell stuff to it but i guess we need to wait to be told to do that whenever you buy or sell an item with a location you can see in this area what items are being traded so i guess i maybe i can sell those chunks i've made right it's time for you and your entourage of fellow dwarves to spread the good word of your colony make allies or enemies for stone and steel, let the world know of your dwarves of Tyre Munnblen. That is such a long name. Right, anyway, I'm going back to the mountain because I don't, I don't trust out there. Now, we need to make ten. Which I believe we have done. Okay, so we've completed this quest. Which was the stone one. Oh, mentioned here about a dwarf being attacked. Engaged in a fearsome battle with a scare granitling. Maybe we dug that out of the um, the thing, the mine. I can't see where else it came from. Now, what was the thing? Stone from stone completed. We completed a task. That we Okay, good. Ow. So what do you want me to do next, then? Uh, let's pause it. Wait a minute. I think that's paused. Yeah, there we go. Right, so... We've got to discover the God of the Forge. We need to destroy two green slimes and a bleeding atrium. We also need the mountain law and we need to learn metallurgy. Oh, yeah. How do we do that? So if we, if we discover copper, we can make a foundry to smelt ore. And we've also got an overworld mission. Okay, let's look and see what, what's the mission up here then. So we've got a mission. Acquire a trade level. So how do I do that? Upon completion of this mission, we'll acquire the reward. Um, 
can I just sell uh, blocks of granite, maybe? Let's sell all the blocks I've just made. So we'll click, we'll click sell all. Now is that boosted my trade level? Doesn't seem to have done. Right, I think I need to, re <laughs> I need to replace the uh, things we've just done. Uh, right, so we've got, are, they, are these worth more then? Let's make a base thing of these first. So we're gonna make, we're gonna get some chunks. We're gonna get 10 basic chunks like that. Then we can make crushed granite, which requires a normal granite chunk. We can make a block of granite, restores buildings health. We can make granite pillars. And what's that last one? Granite slab. Sounds like they're all thing for building. A level plane to build on. Smooth finish. Okay, what's this as well? We've got an expedition. Recent developments have set a new task. Ex expedited expeditions. Let's not tarry into completion of this important mission. Yeah, I would do, but we, we, we still need to sort all this out. I don't know what this is as well. A useful material for laying building foundation. I feel like I should go and do something over here though. I don't really understand what I need to do. So this is the new one. Deliver one simple lantern. Right. So I need to discover how to make a, a, a lantern. Now there is a research tab up here. So how do I learn stuff? Um, there's a lantern. Can I see the ability to make a lantern on here? We've got metallurgy. Subterranean farming. Dwarf trade relations. I feel like we probably need blacksmithing. Let's go for that one. Then if we get some more XP, I think we can get that, that one there. Right now, is that giving me anything extra now? So I can do a I can do um a small foundry. Let's get one of these built. I'm guessing I should I need to just keep expanding to the side like this. Let's just keep on expanding, see where we go. Now what do we need to build this? So we need six blocks of granite. Now we are mining 10 blocks of granite in here. So hopefully that is gonna get done. There we go, we've got one block. Ooh, combat. Should really uh, read that in a second. Let's just see what it says. Okay, so your dwarves will occasionally come to combat with the fierce creatures of the deep mines. The dwarves' ability to damage their enemies is governed by the level of their militia, militia profession, as well as the quality of the weapons. Your dwarves will automatically engage nearby enemies, and you can also order them to attack by using the attack command. Cool. We don't want to attack at the moment. I just want to build. I want to build all this up. Because I've only got three dwarves at the moment. I only seem to get one building though. And let's, uh, let's keep crafting anyway while we're waiting for all this to go on. So we'll click craft. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a load of that. Let's make like 20 blocks of that. There we go. Now it'd be nice if that was a priority though. That is not gonna be a priority, is it? Okay, let's just do one chunk and get this finished. I need I need to finish this. I think we're Oh look, we're waiting for blocks of granite. So we need six blocks of granite. So if we click craft on that and then do craft on that. So we're gonna I'm gonna try and make multiple things at the same time. So we'll make chunks and the other one. Let's see if we can do both of these at the same time. Okay, that's waiting for four blocks now. So we are making the blocks of... Now, where's my overall um, item uh, location thing? I don't know how I see how many of these I've got. Inventory? Okay, here we go. So I've got loads of these granite chunks. So we are currently... We're currently making these little uh, blocks. So that should be getting built now. It's worth, I think it's worthwhile keeping um, a little stack of these. 
let's make like, um, I'd say about 20 of them. Let's bung that back up to 10. Because we've only got limited inventory there. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's so cool. So this is like um, a smelter now. Copper ingot. I'm going to try and make one. I don't think we've got any copper, have we? Have we got copper? Copper ore. Wait a minute. How, how are we making that? We've not, we've not got any copper. Don't understand how that, how that works. How are we making that when we've not got the other thing? Okay, so I've, um, I've expanded a little bit more. I thought I'd cut it out a little bit. So we've managed to get the copper up there. I'm building a little area out here now. I just want to try and get a new... What was it called now? Vault, I think it was called. Yeah, I want to do... I want to build this little small vault. Build it down here. Right, movement tip. Dwarves and creatures encounter can traverse the surroundings a variety of ways. If they're stuck... Um, it may be they are unable to find a safe path. Here is a dwarves complete movement set. Okay, dwarves can climb vertically, although they prefer to take stairs or elevators. Dwarves can jump straight up to grab a wall. And dwarves may also decide to jump off a cliff edge. <laughs> ah there. That's that that sounds like a really bad thing. So I don't know how big we need to make this, but that's how big I'm doing it. I'm also going to craft some stuff. So let's uh, let's make a load of these beams. Copper ingot. Don't know how many I need. So I'm going to make 10. And we've also got this, which is normal ingots. But I don't think we can make that just yet. I've not got any resources to do that one. Okay, you go off and make that. Nice, leveled up. Now, is there anything else I can make? We've still got infrastructure stuff, so we've got stone chest. A simple storage container hewn from the mountain. Uh, we've got a hand pump. A hand pump draws fluid from fluid bodies into the world. I don't know if we need that or not just yet. We've got a stone stairway. Uh, we've got stone bridges. I don't know what the difference is between the bridges, though. A, a simple uh, staircase reaching up and down, and then we've got a stairway of cold stone. What's, which should I be using, I wonder? Now, if I click on you, can I see your experience going up? We can look. Metal metallurgists. I do you need more lore, though? I don't understand how we get lore just yet. I think it's from exploring areas. Maybe get them to move around. Okay. Um, is there a problem with mine in this area? What's wrong with that there? Granite. Surely we can mine that. That's There we go. Now suddenly they can mine it. I'm just going to leave them to get on with it. Take it we've run out of copper. Although, copper looks everywhere down there, though. Can we not build a... a room for storing stuff? Unless we store it in the vault. Let's build a stone chest, because we've not built one yet. I want to see what they do. Okay, we have to do it. <laughs> do we have to do it all the way over there? Okay, I'm doing it all the way over there. What do I actually need to make that first? So I need granite chunk and a copper ingot. We should have the stuff to make that. There we go. He's off to go and make it. Ooh, that's a new thing. Cacti green puff. A variety, a, v a variant of cave mushroom. Cool. Okay. Still doing that. He's going to be carrying his stuff to that chest, I think. Right, we're nearly ready to build this now. Probably going to have to build pillars and all sorts to get this finished, though. So, 
here we go. Let's see if this works now. So we go to rooms, small vaults. Oh, I've got to do it bigger. What happens if I click that now? Will that automatically do dig it out for me? It looks like it will. Right, and we do need granite pillars. We need two of them so we can make those in here. So let's do craft and set that to two. And hopefully someone is going to come along and pick that up. Come on, build it. Ooh, what's that? A little bit of root or something? I don't know what that material is. Lich lichen. Cool. We can speed this up as well, I believe, on here. Okay, you can do one, two, and three. There we go. Look at them go. <laughs> we like a bit of fast digging. That's going to make it so much easier. Okay, what are we? We're still waiting for the uh, granite pillars, so someone best get in there and get building them. We'll see it on here. There we go. And then we can finish that room off now. Here we go. And this is our vault. Oh, look at it. Small vault. So even the most affluent and successful of dwarven mining colonies started... Mining colonies? <laughs> Melon colony. Started out modestly. A small vault is a humble but important step toward reaching those heights or depths, if you will. This building can store a small amount of gold, keep it safe in the mountain home. And I've got my random chest over there, which I don't really know what the point of that is. Yellow ring melt cap. I'm going to... I'm going to click harvest on that and see what happens. And on that other one. Let's harvest them both. Should I just harvest all of these? Because then we can, we can uh, explore a little bit and see if my uh, XP goes up. I think we might have just had a little fight and I completely missed it. Yeah, we've got green slime just attacked us. Now, there's more resources over here. Look at, look at all this. Now, can I click on that and then click harvest? Then we'll explore the area. Let's see. Now, where are these going now? Ah, so there's like a storage thing there. The Great Mountain Chest. Serves as a drop-off point. Okay, so we've got to go all the way to that, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm going to have them come all the way over here. I'm also going to mine this area now. Because we know we can mine a little bit easier. Like that. There's a load of mine mineable stuff there as well. Ooh. What's that? What is this? What is it? There's something here. definitely looks interesting anyway i'm gonna leave that there for now this does look an interesting in-depth game that there's gonna be loads to do so let's uh let's do a save for this i'm gonna call it episode one and that is it saved so yeah if you do want to see some more of this then let me know in the comments certainly seems uh, an interesting little colony uh, manager I am interested to learn about how I learn the XP for the, uh, the, the tech, because we don't seem to be getting any mountain lore at the moment, although it does say it's the first thing we learn from it and everything flows. Increase our lore by exploring the mountain, unveiling the darkness. So maybe just the more we explore, the more we're going to learn. Or maybe you have to dig down, because look, we got one point then for that. Okay, so we are getting it a little bit. Anyway, that is it. Enough of my waffling. This is Hammer Ting. If you do want to see some more, leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment, and I will see you next time.